Hello everyone, this is Ryan from T3W Gaming, and today I'm gonna play a little bit of more Stanley Parable. Now, um, hang on one second. If you guys don't know what Stanley Parable is, then click up here where but the Stanley clock is, actually. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What oh, if a crucial outcome Panther fell under one. his responsibility? Uh -huh. He had never been trained Click on this that. clock to no. show, see episode one. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing right. to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy indoors, forever. Indoors, I will be happy. Indoors, Stanley waited. Indoors. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Can't move this chair. Now it's even sad. closer. Here it comes. Did the game just restart on me? It did. Okay. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Oh, he realized that he's alone now. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Sorry about that. I had a, Sorry about the background noise. I just had to switch my mic to a different... When Stanley Setting came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Should I become nice today? Nah, let's continue on. This let's was go not left. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley Thank knew you, it I knew perfectly that. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nah, well, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Ah, <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. Blah, blah, eager blah, to get we already to heard all this. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, no, I didn't. I don't know what you're smoking. Stanley was so Let's bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Well, fuck you too. Alright. Make me cry. Do not jump from cargo lift while it's in motion. I wonder if I jumped if, it would, if I would die. Nah, let's go down it. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not, not really. Enemy. No. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Uh huh. There's someone you've okay. been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not you can't tell me what to do. Me. You're not my real dad. I'm asking for her. Wonder what would happen if I. Ooh. Wonder what would happen if I jumped down to here. But in his eagerness to prove that he is oh, in that. control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good Mwah. job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you, I try. <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. Oh, shut up. Still bright as hell outside. Maybe I'm in heaven. Thank God. D did, like, the narrator just give up? Because he's kind of gone now. When Stanley came to a set of two go. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, I'm gonna go open the door on my left. I'm gonna continue on with the story. I'm gonna be nice about it this time. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting Feeling fired. A wave of Don't get fired. Stanley decided yes. to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I'm actually... Monetize free to play. You know what? Screw you. I hate people who do that on the Android. Uh yeah, Coming I'm actually to gonna a staircase, go up. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm actually gonna go upstairs. Ooh, nice office. What's up, bruh? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. 
You're Shocked, fired. Unraveled, you're Stanley fired. wondered in disbelief you know what? You, who you orchestrated this. Right what dark too. secret was being held from him? What he could not uh. have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Some sheer luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Where? Oh, uh, what? Where was that? What? Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. There is nothing that way. I do not want to go that way. What's up, Gonna go down. I'm actually following the story. What is up? Up. And my Stanley repairable just stopped responding. <laughs> Uh, it's my computer. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's so bad at loading resources. It's not even funny. Up. Oh, I think. I think. Nope. It's still gone. Whew! Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring there. of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This religion. question would not go unanswered for long. Probably gonna get a lot of hate for that comment. If you're a religion fanatic, I'm sorry for you. I'm s not for you, I'm sorry for making Stanley that walked comment. straight ahead through yeah. the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Boy, I wonder what that is. Um, there's a great sign called Escape, so I'm just gonna go this way. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Boy, that whatever it was looked really good earlier. You know, that mind control facility, that looked really, really good. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply nah. had to... Nope, still on board with death. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this again. Nope, oh, I'm still on board with death. Let's do this. I wish I could sprint, but I can teabag. This is a weird hallway. Oh the my god. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nah. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I'm actually quite scared. This is literally the last light. Uh, should I do it, guys? Should I do it? Uh, I'm gonna do it. What is this? I can go back, guys. Should I go down? Mm. Eh. Yep, that was my death. No, it wasn't. I'm loading. What? Did I die? And, of course, I'm not responding. Oh, well, this is a normal thing now. Here we go. Did I die? I did. What? As is the machine this? whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking oh, the eyeballs of a blind man. 
so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. What's up, Wall? How you doing? Farewell, oh? Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh. LOL, okay. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? <laughs> Did that just happen? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Did I just beat the game? I just beat Stanley Parable. Dude, this is awesome. Let's continue on going on with this. Let's see what's all in this. Ah, yes, the elevator. See, that is a door. And that's just an any old door, but that's an elevator. Oh, God, an elevator. Where's that fern that I needed to know? Oh, my God. I, I just beat the Stanley Parable. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it, this was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people were in some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this. The lounge. Oh my god. Narrator emails. After the second trailer, we sent out... We sent out... We asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never, we've never found the perfect use for them. Here's a selection of those emails. How's the game going? I hope you... Well, playing the Stanley Parable helped me make friends. I don't have any friends. <laughs> so let's look at one more. Are you gay? I'm done. I'm already done. I'm already done. The office. Okay. The cargo lifts. Oh my god. Oh. The options. Okay. This is probably going to be the only ep thing for this episode. I actually beat it, but I want to continue on and see what all the other ones are. Maybe try and do all 900. I'm just going to continue walking to see how far it goes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Is this the narrator? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can what? still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. What? There's no other way to beat this game. I didn't beat the game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Oh, what's you can't tell me what to do. It. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... So I didn't beat the Stanley Parable.
I don't think my game's restarting. Yeah, my game's not restarting. <laughs> oh, boy, I think that's enough for today. Anyway, guys, this is Ryan from T3W Gaming. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.